So, say you're considering moving to Denver, or say you already live in Denver, but you're considering buying your first home. And say in either of these scenarios, you are not the manager of a hedge fund, i.e. you don't have a billion dollars. What to do? We've all heard the horror stories, Denver real estate, oh, it's so expensive. But is that actually true? Yes, but all is not lost. You can still achieve home ownership. You just need to know where to look. So that's why today we're doing a roundup of three affordable neighborhoods here in Denver. So a few caveats. First of all, we're talking affordable in quotes. This is relative here. We're still in Denver, Colorado. I can't find you a house for 150 grand within the city limits. And if I can, you don't want it. And number two, we are staying within the city limits. I'm not going out to the suburbs because that opens up a whole can of worms. All right, let's go. Number one is Hampton. This is a slice of Southeast Denver, east of I-25. It's between Virginia Village to the north and Southmore Park in the Tech Center to the south. Hampton features shady streets, some one and two story homes, and some condos and townhomes. According to Realtor.com, the median listing price here is $385,000. In Denver, that is a steal. Now, this little hamlet may not have the dining and shopping options of a more central Denver neighborhood, but it's got easy access to the tech center and the light rail, making getting downtown a breeze. Next, we move north to Washington, Virginia Vale. Yes, Washington, Virginia Vale. Another little pocket that's not real big on name recognition, but is nice with the affordability. This neighborhood is dotted with charming 60s and 70s era houses, and the median home price is still just under 500,000. You can't get a vacant lot in Platte Park for that much. Washington, Virginia Vale, that is a mouthful, is a triangular-ish area just to the east of Glendale. So it's got easy access to Cherry Creek, DU, and all the wonders of Colorado Boulevard. Schools here compare favorably with others in the Denver Metro, and it's very close to Cook Park and the Cook Park Rec Center, which, pro tip, has the cheapest and easiest outdoor pool situation in Denver. Shh, it's our secret. And finally, we get some name recognition with the third neighborhood on our list, Cap Hill. Just south of downtown, Cap Hill is a thriving and eclectic plot of central Denver. Between the many bars and restaurants and museums, there is always something to do, but be warned, Parking here, not great. Cap Hill's median list price is $335,000, making it easily the lowest on our list. The reason for that, it's mostly condos and other attached properties, not too many single family homes. But it's also the most central neighborhood we've seen. If you're looking for a starter home or to downsize and you wanna be in the middle of the action, Cap Hill might be the ticket. That's gonna do it for our list. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a like. As always, I'm gonna paste my email address below, so if you have any questions, just message me directly. Otherwise, see you soon. Hey, real quick before we go, are you considering buying or selling a home and would like some tips on how to win in this market? Click the link below, I'll put it in the description, and get a free buyer's or seller's guide. It's got a whole lot of information that'll just make your life a lot easier. So go grab that, let me know what you think.